These are 200? These are 200? Because of that? Can't be because of the materials. It's gotta be because of that. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. The top three, Air Jordan 5. It's a weird shoe. The shoe's not weird. The colorway's weird. And even then, the colorway's not weird. That's just weird. That's it. It's kind of unfortunate because I understand the top three thing, like they did it with the Jordan 1s, as far as the Jordan line goes, where they mixed up the black and red, the black and royal, and I think it was the Chicago. Or maybe it was the black toes. I don't even know. So for newbies like me, this top three is the top three bestseller color. That's ways of i don't know i think it's just the most popular okay the black metallics are in here clearly the fire reds the real fire reds not those fire reds those fire reds and then the grape and i will say that those three are probably out of the original lineup of shoes of this shoe those are probably the top three as far as popularity is concerned a lot of people love the black metallics i like them too and i don't even like all black shoes the fire reds are legit fire like they're sick and then the grapes i just love also remember that story that i told last time when i finally got my grapes i finally got a pair of grapes in like 2015 14 16 it was something like that and then i told the whole story because the the grapes the retro the first time that they ever retro i'm going to retell this story so it's story time but the very first time that that shoe retro released was in 2006 you remember what happened in 2006 we had a baby yeah more specifically you had a baby because <laughs> uh you had had our baby and then it was the release day i'll never forget this it's kind of funny if you ever want to know the release day of a shoe or if you ever want to re remember a significant moment in your life and you're a sneakerhead it usually correlates with the sneaker release that saturday was the drop of the grape air jordan 5s it's the best colorway i think of the shoe so they released on september 23rd because carol was born on a friday well then yeah because the the morning of you're recovering and i I already had to go home because I think I broke my phone that day. You definitely dropped it from our second story apartment. <laughs> yeah, it was an accident, okay? <laughs> I went to go put it back in my pocket and it just kind of flew out of my hand. I went back to the hospital after going back home and I came see you and right down the street was that Foot Locker, remember? Oh yeah. Remember that little, that little weird shack Foot Locker? So I was like, babe, I need to step aside for a minute. It's not super important to you, but to me it was. And I wanted to go pick up these great fives. And do you remember what you told me? No. You told me you better not go get them shoes. So I didn't. So it took me a while to finally get a pair. So anyways, that's my great five story. Listen to your wife, folks. Happy wife, happy life. But anyways, no matter how much I love that great five, it don't look right on this. Whoa. Why do I always do that? I think it's a sign of what you think of the shoe. Not because I, I really <laughs> like, I really do like these. I will say I do, I do like them. I don't love them. I think it's a solid release. I don't think it's a great release. $200 is like, a, you know, like I need to pay more attention. What the, why is this $200? Why was the hair sixes 190? They had real leather on them. These don't. These have Durabuck. Technically, it's synthetic Nubuck, but Nike likes to call it Durabuck, okay? This is not quite OG Durabuck that was featured on the original like Jordan 4 and Jordan 5, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. It's got that kind of like rubbery feeling. You can see inside the cut that there's nothing real about it. It's all synthetic fibers. It doesn't bother me personally. I just wish that the prices were more reflective on the product and what goes into the product rather than branding of the product. And I do understand that we are paying for brand names, but when it's within the same brand, that's the part where I'm like, why is there such a variation amongst product? You're talking about one line from the net. Like technically the six is better than the five, right? It came after the newest one, you know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, I just don't get that. But again, they made this shoe really nice. I got to say, not everything's perfect or anything like that, but they, they did a decent job, I'll say that. I still don't like the, the tongue. Why is that even there? I don't know what you would put in place of it because if you put the metallic tongue from the other fire reds or even from the metallic fives which you couldn't because then it wouldn't be three shoes it'd just be two but like if you were to take the third shoe the white and fire red that just came out recently and put that in there it would just look like a jordan five so i'm wondering if like breaking this up a little bit with some white will like do better oh maybe should we see okay okay huh look better she don't like them folks <laughs> here's my thought process i turned these into a top four now you got the white fire reds in there or you could just say that this is part of the grapes keep it a top three you know mj did this on the black metallics you can also do that too it's just the history of the air jordan 5 anyways as far as the air jordan 5 is concerned look at that also what do you see besides a big ass jump man? herringbone herringbone because that's all you need man that's all you need a little bit of branding you got the jump man got the nike that's legit right there this is dope first air jordan with a clear outsole pretty cool she thought about it for a second you didn't see that 
which she did. No, the Jordan 4 did not have the clear outsole. No, it doesn't. Now moving on up, we've got a polyurethane midsole with a visible air sole unit. There is also an encapsulated air sole unit in the forefoot. You can't really feel any of them. Polyurethane's a little firm. This is a little softer than previous year's stuff, but uh, it's not like mad comfortable or anything like that. I do think that they are comfortable as far as a neutral shoe goes, which means not a lot of cushion. Okay, neutral means like as, as neutral as it comes. Like not a Nike free, but a little bit better than that. Now, something that I am disappointed in though is the insole because this has Nike Air on it and what shoe had the polyurethane insole that wasn't an OG color? The hairs. The hairs do you have it? Okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember because I've been checking out a lot of Jordans lately. But uh, so the, those, the women's 11s. The women's 11s, the, the men's 11s too, the Concord breads. Okay. None of those are original colorways. None of those say Nike Air on them. They all got polyurethane insoles and then they just seem to have forgot about this one, even though the price is more. So if, when you're going to complain, complain about the right things at the right time. You know what I'm saying? And these are things that I feel like you should complain about. There's no real leather on this shoe. There is no polyurethane insole. Why the are they two hundred dollars because they can't the five is such an unfortunate shoe to do this to it really doesn't work that tongue goes nowhere nowhere on this shoe does grape and emerald belong they forced it they did the upper itself is all synthetic so uh, actually i got some b-roll of this there's a sticker with the shoe and it says that it contains synthetic material so if you're one of those vegan sneaker heads that, that cares about that then there you go if you're a vegan sneaker head that doesn't care about that just ignore this it doesn't even matter because apparently there's a wide spectrum of vegans some vegans the ones that don't care really don't care and they don't care that the other vegans care and i'm just trying to let everybody know just so everybody can be happy but you know like this is just the world and nobody can be happy together about anything maybe it's just the internet but it feels like real life too now again there is nike air branding right there on the back it's right there front and center it's big it's loud it's beautiful now just in case you were unaware of which shoes make up this shoe right here it says that right there on the inside uh, on the back of the tongue they put it upside down just like the old air jordan patch the tongue is fluffy it's so fluffy it's not too fluffy, but it's fluffy just enough. The one thing that I do like about the tongue is the material. It is softer and all that stuff, and I like this a lot more than the reflective tongues, even though I like the, the way that the reflective looks when it reflects. Now, they do come with a lace lock. It's got both branding on there, so the lace lock itself or the little plastic piece that says Nike, but on the little toggle that normally comes with the Air Jordan 6. That says both Nike and has a Jumpman on there, so whichever one you want to sport, go for it. Now, one last thing to note is that little dude right there. There is the PE. 23 branding back on the shoe some colorways have it some colorways don't the 2008 countdown pack had it and then subsequent models and colorways did too also if you even go back further like the first time i saw it on one of my fives was the white and metallic silvers although the numbers was different the font was different they try to make it look like more like the uh, jersey number that's on the bulls uniforms this is more like the original pe that mj actually wore the font was very close to this it's not identical but it's very close the only thing though is that i don't remember the originals having the little drop shadow and the retros did it's nice and crisp though super clean like if you look at this stitch work compared to an original they stitch it stitch it stitch it and then they're connected at the two and the three right down there with a straight up red thread as they move to the next number this embroidery and stitching has come such a long way since then that they don't have to do that now as far as sizing is concerned they do fit true to size uh, a little bit different than the last fives that released which is interesting because that shoe i had to go down half a size they fit hella big these they fit like a normal jordan 5 i don't know if it's because there's a lot of like padding but for whatever reason these just fit more true to size than the last ones the shape is also different by the way these don't have the same shape as the last shoe that's something that i also don't like it's inconsistent man like this guy right here is the right shoe obviously this is the left shoe this guy right here is shaped almost perfectly almost perfectly to what i feel an air jordan 5 should look like it's got the nice little slope and then you have the same shoe in the same box and it's just hella big and bubbly it's just squared up again as like come on you guys you guys all of your talk about the font, which I was going to ask you being like, are you super stoked to have a five with the 23 on it? Because I know some people are like, where is it? Why isn't it on some, this one? Some people love this thing. Some people don't. I feel like that would have been a great way to incorporate the tongue color is if this was the teal with the purple. That would have been cool. But this is part of the Jordan 5 fire red. No, I know, but they I, gave all of that to them. Yeah, but that is part, that that was on that shoe. Okay. That was not on the grape. It was not on the black uh, metallic. It had a silver for the ones that did have the number on it. And then the white fire reds that just re-released. Re yeah. 
um, some of his PEs had the 23 right. also. I understand that. I understand your thought process too. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more white though. Like if these plastic panels were white, the lace eye stays, mm. you know, just to incorporate a little bit more because it just feels like the, the grape was like, well, we need a third one. Here you go. Yeah, throw it in there. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like, like it really belongs. Like the whole tongue should be white, like all the way down to the bottom. Because again, it just feels like they just like took the top of the grape tongue and they just like, we, we need a third colorway to call them the top three. So there you go. But back to the font. So this weekend we decided to do a throwback movie and we watched American Psycho with Christian Bale. Yeah, the remake one. Yeah, and there's the whole what thing. What a <laughs> weird movie. Where they're comparing their business cards and like mm -hmm. everybody's like, oh, but look at mine, look at mine. And he's like freaking out in his head being like, the raised lettering, the font, the... <laughs> That's a sneaker head right there. That's a sneaker head. And be like, oh my God. <laughs> They put on the purple tongue on an all black and red shoe. What are they doing? Right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, that's what we are. Yeah. It's okay, man. You gotta make fun of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we know how stupid we are. But that pretty much takes care of it for these guys. If you're interested in anything, like the release date and all that stuff, we'll put that in the description box because they keep changing them around. So uh, if you expect me to remember that, not gonna happen. Let us know what you think about the different laces. Would you go white? Would you go black? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. So until next time, guys, have a good one. Ow.